No, no, they don't. This video was shared 8,384 times. This is from a lawyer account, a very successful lawyer, a guy who I love. I, I enjoy watching all his content, but no, this is completely false, completely reckless coming from a lawyer. If I were Diddy, I would sue. Here we go again. <laughs> Yo, if they keep on making up these lies and victims, I hope that Diddy ends up being not guilty. Just saying. Because just days ago, the media started reporting that GHB, which is like a date rape drug, was all up in the baby oil bottles found at Diddy's house. And it seemed believable too, but too bad it's not. A lawyer that's always on Instagram, Top Dog Law, first reported this and said that it was confirmed in court documents, which in actuality it wasn't. It was only speculated that there could be possibly GHB in the baby oil. The lawyer representing one of the alleged victims claims that his client says that Diddy had squirted her all over with baby oil. It says that she originally thought it was acid or something, but then she realized it was some type of lubricant or oil. She actually didn't even specify baby oil. She just said he started squirting it at her, squirting it all over her body. After she was covered in it, that's when the attack began. He continues by saying, over the course of the assault, her body got more and more limp and she couldn't figure out what was causing it. Cause it wasn't as she was forced any drugs. She felt that whatever the liquid was being squirted on her had something in it. So basically everyone is running with this fake baby oil narrative, which is only a claim from one civil suit, not federal, a civil. Even lawyers for workers debunk that other lawyers claim about the GHB. Because if the feds had found over a thousand bottles of baby oil, don't you think that would have prompted them to test the liquids? <laughs> Shit, even by fed standards, they would have automatically. Also, if there was any kind of drugs found in any of the bottles, don't you think that would have been the headline everyone starts with? Diddy found with baby oils laced with drugs. Man, that would have been the headlines everywhere, just like how the freak off term has now been used regularly by all media outlets. Just saying, this would have been super emphasized and more or less victims would have had the same claim. Also, this was listed in the civil case by said individual, not the federal case that raided Diddy's house, took all his electronic devices, cameras, videos, baby oils, pills, etc, etc. The feds ran through both of his homes in California and New York and nowhere has it ever stated the baby oils ever being laced. This is just another pileup of fake news to bring him down. Just last week, another alleged victim got caught lying. She had made up a story and wanted her ex-boyfriend to join in on the lie and was gonna give him $3 million to help her. And then with this 1-800 hotline, the clout chases are chasing. And once again, besides the Cassie situation, which he absolutely is guilty for, all these other situations are very, 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 very questionable. But only time will tell as the media continues to slander and make up lies. I don't want to go with the media facts. I want to go with the court facts, court document facts, when he actually has his time in court. So until then, we're all going to find out the truth together. But yeah, this is only getting interesting by the day. Whew.